Hey, hey, hope you're doing well. Well, today I have some exciting news and I can't wait to share it with you. But first, let me tell you about myself in case you're new to me. My name is Jason, I'm a full-time reseller and I strive to help people in their reselling business. And one of the ways that I do that is by creating a tool that will help resellers like yourself with the financial side of their business. Let's be real, it's easy to get intimidated by the numbers side, organizing your numbers and keeping everything in track. But how great does it feel when you have it all organized and you can quickly see how your business is doing, what you're doing really well, what areas you need to improve in, and you also just have that snapshot of where you are at any given day of the year. So with that being said, today I'm releasing three new spreadsheets for 2024. Three different spreadsheets depending on where you are in your journey. I've got the basic, the premium, and the creator reseller spreadsheet. And I'll be getting into those in just a second. I'll explain why you'd wanna purchase each spreadsheet and help you decide which one will be better for you and your business where you're at today. First of all, if you didn't know, it's a Google Sheet. Let me just explain a few of the key benefits. The first one being namely that it auto saves in the cloud to your Google Drive. You don't have to save it to your desktop. And the best news is any changes you make automatically save. And the second key feature that I think is huge is that you can access your sheet from any device, whether you're looking on a computer or laptop, on a phone or a tablet, whether you're on your personal laptop or at your business, it doesn't matter. As long as you can log in to Google Drive, you can access your sheet, giving you a lot of accessibility to your numbers. So now let me break down the three different sheets that I have, the basic, premium, and the creator reseller spreadsheet. So the basic is gonna be for those people who are typically starting off reselling, they're just looking for a quick, easy, simple way to track their sales. You will get some metrics, but not as many as the other versions. This sheet is specifically geared towards those people who are only selling on one platform or who don't really care to, to measure the different platform trends. They're just looking for a, a very simple way to keep track of their numbers, see their total sales, their profit, and a few other key stats. That's the basic version. The next tier would be the premium reseller spreadsheet. And this sheet is geared for those who are looking for a little more. You don't necessarily have to be experienced in your reseller journey. I do have many people who are new to reselling who are using the premium reseller spreadsheet. But this comes loaded with a lot of features like the ability to track different platforms and see how each platform is doing month to month. The ability to look at different categories and see which categories are selling better than the others so you can focus on those categories. And just like the category metrics, you can get store metrics where you can track and see which stores that you're buying for, i.e. thrift stores, Goodwills, yard sales, things like that, that are bringing in the most money. So you can focus on those stores as well. And the premium also gives you the capability to track your business expenses over the year so that when you get to the end of the year, you can quickly hand over this sheet to your tax professional. And then the third option is the creator reseller spreadsheet. Now the creator is gonna have everything that the basic and the premium has and even more. The creator reseller spreadsheet is what it sounds like. It's for those people who aren't just reselling, but they're also making money through several streams, whether that be creating content or selling their own merch or selling on whatnot. This spreadsheet is for you. This will help you see each of those streams compared to the others. You don't just wanna know how your reseller sales are doing, you also wanna know how much money is coming in from your content creation, i.e. your Amazon links, maybe your YouTube videos, your sponsorships, things like that. It's got a merchandise tab to help you track those merch sales that you're making for your branded items. And then it's got a whatnot tab that is geared specifically for those resellers who are starting to do live selling on whatnot. And of course you can track a bunch of different metrics over your business as well, just like you can with a premium. This creator sheet is loaded and it has the most bells and whistles to offer. So let's take a quick look at these three sheets and help give you an idea of which one is gonna be best for your business. We've got three spreadsheets loaded up here, the basic, the premium, and the creator. Now, as we look at the sheets, just take note that each sheet will have an inventory tab as well as a sales tab. The inventory tab will help you keep track of all your items that you have listed that haven't sold yet. Once you make a sale, you can quickly copy from the inventory tab over to the sales tab. Then you fill in a few key numbers as far as the money that you pulled in, the fees that you've paid out, and it calculates profit for you. And then from there, each of these sheets has a day, a month, and a year tab. A day to let you know how much money you're making on any given day. A month tab to know how your months are looking. And then of course, a year tab to tell you how you're doing on the year. The basic is gonna be pretty much this, those tabs that I've shown you. If we take a step up at the premium, you'll notice you have the inventory, sales, day, month, and year tab. 
but you've also got a lot more. The profit and loss tab will pull in every single dollar that you've collected in revenue, as well as all of your expenses and give you one number at the end of each month and the year to show you your net profit for your whole business. I mentioned the platforms tab where you can track and see how each platform is doing compared to the others with some charts at the bottom. You've got an expenses tab to track all of your business expenses throughout the year. You've got a home office tab as well to track your home office expenses so that your tax accountant can hopefully give you credit for that when you go to file your taxes. You've got a mileage tracker to log all of your business miles driven. You've got a bins tab to help you see how many items you have in each bin that you're storing your inventory in. I mentioned you've got the ability to track the stores that you're selling from as well as the categories that you're selling in. You can quickly see and sort any of these columns to find out which categories or which stores are doing the best. And then on this premium, you've got a consignment template for those resellers who are selling items for other people. You can copy and paste in your sales here that are consignment and it will quickly spit out how much you owe that person based on the rate that you've agreed on. So that's the premium tab. You can see it's the basic plus a lot more features added in. Now let's look at the creator. Again, the creator is gonna have all the tabs that the, the basic and the premium have and then even more on top of that. So you've got your inventory, you've got your sales, but you'll notice that I mentioned three key tabs that the creator will have that the premium will not. The ability to log your whatnot shows here in its own tab. You also have the ability to log and track your merchandise sales, as well as the ability to log and track your creator revenue. This fun new month chart that will show you broken into categories, the types of revenue that you're bringing in from whatnot, to your online platforms, to your merch, and to your creator content. You can quickly see on this month tab all those streams of revenue and compare really quickly how well each one is doing. And the last thing to take note of is this year tab that will pull in all of those four segments of your business and tell you the percentage that each one has. So if you're a reseller who's also pulling in other streams of revenue, then the creator is gonna be best for you. But just in case you're still deciding, you can always take a look at the Etsy listing. I'll link that below in this video. And from there, in each of those listings, it will have a chart inside one of the picks that will show you the key differences between those three reseller spreadsheets. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out in this video in the comments below or find me on Etsy, and I'd be happy to answer those for you. Thanks so much for taking the time today, and I look forward to seeing where this journey takes you.